It's very sad and rather disappointing that I feel the need to make this video, but lots of people are reporting crimes to the police and the police are just refusing to investigate them. Not only has the crime occurred, but there's evidence that it's occurred. The evidence has been provided to the police and even the location of the stolen items has been given to the police and yet reportedly they do nothing about it. So that's what I'm talking about in this video. So welcome back to my channel, but if you're new to me and my channel, I'm a barrister who helps you understand law because I feel that everybody should have a free and easy digestible access to snippets of law. So I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and like this video. And if you want some exclusive content where I can talk about things that are not necessarily YouTube friendly, head over to blackbeltbarrister.com in the description below and on screen. And if you use the code BLACKBELTSUPPORT, you will get your subscription discounted to $9.99 per month for unlimited access to all of my exclusive videos. So several times, in fact, in the last few days, I've had people contact me with evidence that they've had their house broken into, or they've had their car stolen, or they've had their phone stolen. They've got video footage of this happening because they've got either the CCTV from the shop from where it was stolen or CCTV footage from their house from where it was stolen. And they've handed this to the police. And not only that, they've had tracking information from either the car or the phone or whatever. And they've handed this to the police and they can show the police precisely where this stolen item is. And yet the police have refused to do anything about it. And as a community, I feel the need, well, certainly for me to support you as the community and us all collectively as a community need not stand for this and need to make this more publicly known and apply pressure to relevant police services to investigate these crimes, particularly when they know where the thing is because it's tracked. The whole point of a tracking device is to tell you where the stolen item is so you can go and retrieve it. Not only would the tracking allow the police to find the stolen item, but it doesn't take too much of a stretch of the imagination to realize that if, let's say, it's a stolen phone that's been taken to a particular house in a particular place, that is obviously being used by thieves in one sense or another. It's either been stashed there along with other stolen items, or it's been stashed there unwittingly by someone else who's living there and they need to know about it, or it's part of some criminal syndicate that needs exposing. And what better way to expose a criminal syndicate than to have the exact pinpointed location from the tracking device on the phone or the car or whatever it might be for the police to go and knock the door. Now, the excuse, I'll call it from the police so far. I call it an excuse because I think it is an excuse because there's a common law duty for the police to investigate crimes and they have statutory duties that allow them the powers to investigate crimes. They have the authority to go to a magistrate, apply for a search warrant, which doesn't really take very much. All they need to prove to the magistrate is that there's evidence that a crime has been committed and there's evidence that they will find what they're looking for, some evidence that the crime has been committed, some evidence whatsoever related to that crime at the address that they wish to search or the address of anyone that they wish to investigate the search warrant for. So, for example, if they get a particular search warrant in respect of a particular individual, they can search any other premises or vehicle that belongs to that person. So. If they did get a search warrant for this particular address where this phone or the car is located, they could search that premises. And if they find somebody and they, let's say they find prints on the car and those prints match the person they find at the address, they could then potentially extend that search warrant to any other premises that that person owns. Like I said, it might start with one phone. There might be 500 phones at that particular address, but the police will never know about this unless they actually conduct a search of the address. So that's why I call it an excuse, because the people that have spoken to me so far have said that the police have said they won't go to the address, they can't apply for the search warrant, and they're not going to investigate the crime. So as I sit here thinking, I'm going to create a poll, which I will link in the description. Should the police obtain the search warrant to go and search the address? Just before you vote on that poll, I am going to give you some thoughts, which I don't usually do, because if the police say that there are insufficient resources to apply for search warrants for each of these things, then the police need to apply further pressure up the chain to get more funding and resources to get more police officers to do the work. I'm sure you'll tell me what you think in the comments below, but personally, I think that if the police don't have enough resources to investigate things like this, they need to get more resources. 
and they need to apply pressure to get more resources. The answer cannot, should not, surely be that they simply refuse to investigate these crimes, even when they have a pinpointed location of the phone and the car and whatever it might be that's been stolen. In fact, a number of different police services have been criticised in recent months and years. So what is one to do if you feel that the police haven't carried out their duty properly? Well, there is a complaint procedure which is run by the Independent Office for Police Conduct. You can contact them and make a complaint that your crime hasn't been investigated properly, even though you've provided sufficient evidence and so on. Just remember that this won't usually result in your crime being investigated or any further action being taken. But if enough reports and complaints are made about crimes that are not investigated to the IOPC, then hopefully this will collectively apply more pressure to get more police officers to investigate these crimes. Because if the reason really is that there's insufficient resources to investigate these crimes, those resources need to be lifted. What we can't be doing, in my humble opinion, is we can't be lowering the standards of what we will accept as a society by just allowing these crimes to continue and be uninvestigated. It's certainly going to send the wrong message to thieves and would-be thieves if they know that they commit these crimes and just stash it in a location, knowing that the police are simply not going to investigate it. Surely that is only going to lead to one outcome, and that's an increase in crime, which is exactly what the police services are set up to prevent. So, as always, that's really about it for this video. Please leave your comments in the box below. Please remember to like the video and subscribe and hit the bell icon. Check out my exclusive content on blackbeltbarrister.com and I'll see you next time.